So if you haven't seen my video on sockets and getting a full socket set, feel free to look and, and watch that one. It's a lot more detailed than this one is. But um, essentially, you know, you, you once you a answer the question of what's a full socket set, I guess another question you might have is what's a full Allen wrench set or a hex key set. If you if you look at the different types of you know, there, there's lots of types of Allen wrenches or hex keys. Um, here's a here's a lot of, you know, you can get them individually, um, shaped as an L. Um, you can get them with a kind of a flat tip or a a ball. T you know, they call it a ball end, which is shown it here in the upper top middle page of the page or the picture. And then you can get them kind of with like a T-handle, comfort grip T-handle, uh, there's, you can, they come in different types of storage containers or storage devices. Um, they also, you know, you can get them attached to a, like a key, which is nice because then, well, it's sort of nice. It's hard to lose an individual one, but at the same time, it's, if you lose the whole thing, then you lose all of them. But, you know, when you want when you go out and buy a set, you want to know that you have all the all the options. So, I decided to go and look for, um, you know, how am I gonna how do I know if if the sets are 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 full? And, and, and I guess what really brought this on is, um, even though I've had you, you know my I had a job where I was working in a lab, and there were a whole bunch of Allen wrench sets that were kind of loose in a toolbox and they were all missing stuff but then there's all these loose ones and it always seemed like the one I needed was not in the box after looking through all of them and I eventually just bought a a set to put in my desk to kind of use myself just so that I would always have a, the right one but anyways um, so the, the way that I decided to to figure out how what are the right ones is I went to again I went to the machinist handbook and I looked up the page with with uh, socket head cap screws and you can see here's a, a photocopy of that page and in that page in that socket head cap screw it tells you on the in that you know I boxed it in red um, kind of that it says the nominal hex sizes for socket head cap screws so Essentially, you know, if if it's telling me, you know, here's all the here's all the socket and cap screws, and here's all the nominal hex sizes for those screws, which means that if it's if it's a socket head cap screw, that's the size it's going to have. Um, and then I decided, well, you know, there's other types of screws. Uh, the picture in this page shows is a socket head cap screw. In case you were wondering what that is, but there, you know, there's other types of screw heads that also have the hex and so I you know I looked through the machinist handbook and I looked through the millimeter sizes and I looked through you know the all the as many types of screws I could find that had a had a hex that you would use an allen wrench to to turn and then I you know wrote down all the sizes to make sure that I had all the right sizes so what that brought me to and then of course after you write down all the sizes I started looking at the different brands. So on this page, it shows, and I didn't, you know, there's, I didn't do an exhaustive search. Obviously, there are a lot more brands than this. These are the most prevalent, I think, or at least the most prevalent that I know of. Um, Carlisle probably isn't as well known as it should be. It's the, it's the exclusively Napa brand of tools. Um, Tecton is a, a new brand, at least it's new to me. Um, Craftsman, everybody knows. Snap-on, everybody knows Snap-on. Um, and if you bought a, have bought a lot of um, Allen or a lot of these Allen wrenches, then um, you probably know of Eclined. They're pretty common when you look when you're looking for them. And then uh, Bondus, I actually have never until you know just recently I hadn't really heard of that company um, so 
and it kind of it was kind of neat when I found out that both Bondus, at least from what I could tell, Bondus and Ecline are both made in the USA, and Snap On, of course, is made in the USA. And so, and I know that Carlisle Tecton and Craftsman, even though Craftsman used to be made in the USA, it's not. I don't know if they've outsourced their Allen wrenches or if they're still making them in the USA. I don't know that, um, but their other tools aren't. And then. Of course, I, my, my standby is I looked at McMaster Car, and even though they don't list a brand, um, they do. You, you can buy Allen wrenches there, and they sell individual ones, and they sell ones in packs. And I would guess a lot of the a lot of the uh, the sets that they're selling, I'm gonna guess that they're Bondus ones, because of when I went to look at the Bondus ones at their on their website, they listed special coatings. Uh, for instance, Bondus has a gold coating. They have, well, at least they have a a, a tool, a, a line of tools that have gold that are gold coated, and then they also have like a nickel coating on some of them. And so McMaster kind of showed those types of coatings, and I didn't see those special coatings in the other brands, which leads me to believe that Bondus is what McMaster car is carrying, um, at least for some of them. So, you know, I looked it up, and so, anyway, so these are the sizes. It shows, you know, millimeters and in the SAE in sizes. Um, you know, it gets kind of strange with the, you know, the four and a half, the five and a half, or the two and a half. Um, it skips. There's no nine. There's no eleven. There's no thirteen. There's no fifteen, sixteen, eighteen. 20, 21, etc. Right, so that, so we're skipping sizes, but they don't make bolts or screws that have those other sizes. These are the sizes that the screws are made out of, right? So, and when you look at socket or look at these Allen wrench sets, these are the ones they have. They don't have the in between sizes that. You might think they might have so obviously this this is pretty correct I would I would guess um, anyways I mean this isn't gonna be a long video so other other things you might want to think about with um, buying anything of course is or with buying these Allen wrenches other than you know I showed you the different um, configurations that you could um, buy with the you know the the L shape and the T handle, et cetera, et cetera. But you also want to look at, you know, the alloy steel or the type of material. So you can get steel or an alloy steel, stainless steel. You can get titanium ones and you can get these beryllium copper ones, which I guess are non sparking. That's the important part of that. Um, so the copper one's obviously going to be softer than an alloy steel. In fact, the stainless is probably going to be. Um, not as strong as an alloy steel, and the titanium is not going to be as strong. I don't know. I'd have to I'd have to think about that one, or at least look up, research it. But there are different types of metals. Um, if it's an alloy steel, you want to see the the heat treatment of the metal, because that'll determine how soft it is. And you kind of want them hard, but at the same time, you don't want them too hard and too brittle. But if they're too soft, then they just when you turn them. And your screw is really tight, and you have a kind of a bigger screw that's on real tight. It'll you'll bend off your your Allen head. Um, and of course, there's the coating for corrosion resistance. Uh, and again, you know this nickel plated and this gold plated. I, Bondus does that. Um, other brands will paint it and do the black oxide. And the black oxide is probably the most common that you'll find. Um, and you'll find a lot of painting one, painted ones as well. And another place to look at for these, a lot of these is, is on Amazon. So, so anyways, um, there's all the, there's all your Allen wrenches. If you want to know what, what the, uh, what if you want to make sure whatever set you're getting has all the sizes, you can just look at this list and it'll tell you. And hopefully you'll get what you need. And thanks for watching.